I've spent over a year using image models and Mid Journey especially has so many cool features, but I think it can be a little bit overwhelming for beginners. So in this video, what I want to do is break down five core elements of prompting Mid Journey. And once we understand these elements, I want to tie it all together with a prompt template where you can just fill in these five core elements and it will make the perfect Mid Journey prompt for you. Just before we jump into these elements, I want to show you the basic structure of how to prompt it. So there's kind of three levels to this. So as you, as you can see here, there's image prompts, text prompts, and parameters. I'm not gonna bother with image prompts. I just wanna do text prompts and, uh, and parameters. And basically what a text prompt is, it's basically a description of what you want the AI model to generate. So for example, that could be a cat or a star or something like that. And then what parameter prompts are, they're more like settings that change the way the AI model generates the prompt. So for example, we could have a text prompt of show me a cat and then a, para a parameter could be do it in vertical format. So that basically mean instead of it being a square picture of a cat, it'd be um, nine by 16. So, so just with that basic format, what I wanna start on is text prompts. So going off that, the first thing I wanna talk about is something I call a subject. So this would be kind of the focal point of what you want inside the image. So for example, the subject of all of these images are a cat. And what kind of brings me on to the second part is I'm gonna have a description. So a description for, uh, for me could be something like a medium, like they've got here. So as you can see here, all the different uh, pictures, all of their subjects are cats, but all the mediums are different. So this one's in block print, folk art, uh, paint by, uh, by numbers, gr um, graffiti. So you kind of see how that changes. And in, even more so, so you could have the same thing. So you have a cat, but it could have different descriptions. So it'd be 1970s, 1980s, 1990s. So again, subject stay, stays the same, description changes. And I think there's a lot of different ways you can describe something. So it could be emotions, as you see here, angry, shy, embarrassed, colors, anything. So like anything you want to describe the subject, that's going to be your, uh, your description. And of course, this, this could be a lot more advanced, which I will go over in a later vi a video, but I want to start it really basic for now. So now we've kind of got the foundations of our text prompts. What I really want to go over now is parameters. Third element is something called a negative prompt. So mid journey describe it as dash dash no. So this basically is anything you don't want inside the image. So they've got some really good examples here. You could prompt still life gooish painting. Um, and as you can see here, there's a uh, fruit, there's vase, there's other aspects here. But then if you put still life, a uh, gooish painting, dash, dash, no fruit. Now the image model tries to remove fruit. So this could be mixed up with the, the other example. So you could have a cat, your subject, a description, sad, and then you could put dash, dash, uh, indoors. So then the image would be a cat that's sad outdoors. Okay, now moving on to the fourth element. And this is gonna be aspect ratios. And I kind of spoke about this before. So this is kind of, as, as you can see here, all images, all different images have different ratios. If you're posting on YouTube, you'd probably want something more landscape like this, which would be a 16 by, uh, by nine. But then if you're posting on TikTok or you're using it for your phone, it'd probably be the opposite. So it'd be nine by 16. So dependent on what you wanna use this for, the aspect ratio is really important. So all we do for this is we add dash dash AR and then we add the ratio after. So for example, if I wanted to post it on TikTok, it'd be dash dash AR 9, 16 with the uh, colons. But the only thing I'd say to remember about this is changing the aspect ratio will change the output of the image. So you can have the same prompt, you can change the ratio and it's gonna change the image um, drastically. So another option, which I will go over in a later vi video, is to prompt it in one by one and then zoom out. But again, we're gonna keep it really simple for, uh, for now. The last element is the video part, and this is not something I use personally. I prefer runway, and I've got a video on that, so you can click that up here now. But this is another parameter where you put dash dash video, and for example here, you can see it shows you sort of like a render of it happening. And as you see here, another way to do it is add a envelope emoji after it if you want the video after. So I don't want you to have to type this out every time or remember every single aspect of this. What we wanna do is we wanna build a prompt template. And what this basically means is instead of remembering dash dash this, dash dash uh, dash that, 
I've created something where you just fill in the subject, the description, the negative prompts, the aspect ratio, and it generates the prompt for you. So we're gonna go to textcortex.com, we're gonna log in. Now we're in our dashboard, we're gonna go to templates. And we're actually gonna search for mid journey prompt maker in brackets beginner. Then once you select this, you can bookmark it so you can use it again later. Okay, so as you see, we're gonna put cat as our subject. We're gonna put sad as our description. We're gonna put uh, indoors as our negative, And then we're gonna put YouTube as our aspect ratio. I'm gonna press enter. And as you see here, we're just filling out those elements. Cool, so it takes in all of this and it just it gives us the perfect mid journey prompt so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to mid journey we're going to slash imagine we're going to paste it in and remember if you want to add, add a video on this just add dash dash video or you can just react to it with an envelope but as you can see with this prompt it's done it perfectly so we wanted a subject to be a cat the description to be sad we didn't want it to be indoors and we wanted it to be in youtube for a format and i think this number four is perfect so upscale that then easy to use this has just been the basics of it in a later video in the very near and in the future i want to go over some more advanced stuff because there are tons of different features there's even things we can actually train mid journey to make images how you want them to make uh images um but so let me know in the comments if you want to see that and if you're struggling with other aspects of using ai it isn't just mid journey prompts you can use on the text core cortex marketplace there's tons of different uh prompt templates for different use cases so there's some for uh, being a student there's academic ones there's ones for prompting other tools you can see here there's tons of different ones i'll just highly recommend checking it out or even making some of you at your own but with all that out of the way i've been roman from text cortex and i'll see you in the next one